Hello, Greg here again with another video on Odoo I'm very excited about. This one's going to get into visual Odoo AI automation workflows with N8N and show you uh, an example of pulling data out of Odoo uh, by initiating a workflow in N8N. And then another example that uses a webhook. So you make sure you stay to the end. The webhook one's really exciting. Now, uh, before we get started, please click like, click subscribe. It really, really does help me. And if you can, leave a comment. Tell me, you know, if you're using AI tools, if you're using Odoo with any AI, or if you think that it's an overblown uh, waste of time. Uh, in this case, every, a lot of things I'm showing you here, it's not really even uh, AI. This solution right here that I'm bringing up, basically what I'm doing is I'm updating GitHub repos or uh, the, the downloadable files for them so it doesn't have to be done manually when a GitHub uh, repo gets... Uh, uh, you know, posted and published, and I'm ready for it to update all of the downloadable files that are parts of my courses and all the source that people want to have. I can run this workflow. And it'll automatically upload them to Google Drive, keep all the permissions the same so everybody can download it. But the nice thing is it's all in this visual workflow. I didn't have to write a ton of code no do. And in fact, I did the whole thing, you know, in less than an hour, even uh, not knowing NAN's workflow really inside and out. This is in a master class that I have in my Master in Odoo development that I just published as part of the early access. So if you're interested in you know seriously developing Odoo applications, you'd like to have you know, a developer coach or get some consulting, please jump over to odooclass.com. I got a lot of resources there, and I, I like helping people with their Odoo projects. So with that said, let's look at this one just real quick. Uh, like I said, there's a full master class on... Um, on Odoo class on how all of this works. I'm not going to go into it real deep, but the main part of it is, is when you click this test workflow and initiate this, the very first thing is it does is it runs to Odoo to get a list of the GitHub repos and the GitHub uh, branches that um, are part of all the courses and products and they're associated with products. And it, again, there's more of this on in the master class. But if I open this up, just so you can see how it works, we have a connection to the Odoo account where I have my credentials, login, password, database, and all that kind of stuff. The nice thing about N8N, everything you're seeing here is running locally. It's open source. I'm not paying anybody anything, and it's not even about the money. It's about the fact that I know that I have the source code for this. It's running on my server, and I can make any kinds of changes I want to it. Um, we're pulling a custom resource, which basically means any model. So you can come here and choose any model. And I'm doing a get mini operation to pull uh, from Odoo that data. And here I can specify the fields. You can see I'm pulling a branch repo, repo URL and file name. And uh, when I test this step, you'll see I get this data right here, the branch, the repo, uh, calculated uh, repo URL and a file name. So I can update everything and you'll see what happens is this gets passed into this workflow where it'll loop over that data and then um, search for if that file is already on uh, Google Drive and we have a conditional here, if it's true, then we get the repo from GitHub with this we update the file on Google Drive, and then this edit fields is kind of here to hold it all together to then come back and keep looping over. If the file is not on Google Drive, we still request the file and we upload the file to Google Drive. And this is all no code, uh, all of this right here. And uh, it's all with built-in connectors that they had. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. You can do a lot of different things with N8N lots of videos on it and like I said I have a master uh, class on it as well so when it runs you know that does what it does but what we're now going to look at is the web hook and a web hook as you'll see if I um, is what it does is it's going to let us initiate this workflow and take a payload of data and uh, that's what starts the workflow in this case I I'm wanting this to kind of be like okay I got everything updated I'm told everybody I'm doing a December 20th release of my new uh, source code so literally tomorrow or the next day this is um, going to be used to update and refresh a, a set of source code of like 12 different modules I can click this test workflow and you can see it goes to Odoo and gets the data. It searches for the file and then it updates. It searches file and then updates it. And you can see 
hit running and it even has little counters here and then it says completed successfully so that's a full workflow so now i'm gonna show you how we can set one up with a, a, a web hook and so this has real value here i'm given and uh, so if we come to hit a webhook example, I don't have anything here because I wanted to show you how it gets set up from scratch. So we're going to begin by clicking add first step. And in this case, it says what triggers this workflow. We're going to say webhook. And uh, we'll click webhook here. And we want to do a post because my application, I want to send along uh, data with it and... Um, it's not like we're trying to retrieve data. It's like we're posting data into it. And so we want to be able to send that payload easily. We don't have to say it's do anything on authentication uh, here right now. Um, um, but we could. You know, obviously, this is all on my own server and with everything going the way it is. And um, so this is our webhook. I'm going to click this to copy it. And I'm going to click to begin listening for it. Now, if we come over here to my project uh, out um, template for a project outline. I have a lot of templates. This is one for a project outline. You can see it works with the project model. It um, uses the AI model GPT-40 mini, which is the best value. You can see now I have costing built in. So we know how much things are costing us uh, for different types of jobs. I have lots of videos on the Odoo AI Accelerator. It's available in early access. So you know, check out oduclass.com. I got a lot more on this. But what, what this is going to do is it's going to use this prompt right here to create a detailed project outline using the following information. It plugs in name, description, and any instructions. And then it says do it in this format. And so it's pretty short. Use emojis, font awesome, and that. It's pretty short. And you can see it puts the output into description. So it's a pretty simple prompt. That's what it does. And what this is going to do is it's going to call that webhook when it's done. So let me make sure I got the right webhook. So this should this webhook needs to match this webhook here. Because you're going to you can have many, many webhooks. This is the one we're wanting to use. And so we'll save that. I think it's already saved. And did I save that? 05A, A and in AD. Oh. Yep, that's it. So now I'm going to jump over to just like a test um, project. I just have a project I use when I'm generating and testing my AI. So I'm going to come up here and run that template, and we'll see the, the hook work. So I say detailed project outline. Let's say put a web hook test in bold at top. Of results and I'll hit run so you can see that it's sending off now the um, the result you know it's sending off the job to open AI and we're and we're listening and we're waiting uh, oh we need to wait and you know, listen listening and waiting for this event if I hadn't clicked that listening to, to, to listen, it, nothing would have happened. So, so you know, the, the, the flow needs to be active, needs to be watching and, and waiting for this webhook. So at any time now, there it is, the job completed in Odoo, and it used that webhook. And you'll notice one of the things that I did with my AI template is passed along this data. So I only had to specify the webhook because the, da the data here is going to be dynamic. That's part of my, you know, the code in my AI accelerator. Uh, but now we got this body of data and it's in our flow. And so now we can take it out of here and do whatever we want with it. Like we could, uh, for example, have it uh, write to Google Drive. So I could say Google Drive here. Uh, create file from text. And it brings up a nice little form here. Let me take this out of the force dark mode because it has its own kind of um, Google Drive account. The, it's going to be a resource file. We're going to create it from text. And notice here all of that data from that webhook, uh, the template data that I passed in. And notice how it says uh, template data zero here. Um, I certainly made it so that it would pass along uh, multiple 
multiple uh, templates of data. So if one template is chained to another template, which is chained to another template, it'll get all these. And look at this really nice drag and drop. So this actually kind of slowed me up a little bit at getting some of my video content out and some things I wanted to do, you know, marketing uh, my courses and, and, and maybe polishing up some other things because this innate in thing I feel is almost like kind of a game changer in the ways you, it's not just that you're not using code. Look Look at how I have a nice access to all these inputs. Oh, that one is uh, is obviously I have to. This is the only one, but I have all these, and I can just drag and drop it in here. So I can say, okay, this is the content I want to write out. So let's drag that content in here, and it gives the you know the actual I guess you say programmatic expression for it. So you know. You're just setting it up this way. As the content changes, of course, it's going to write different content into different files. And uh, we have all kind. you know, then we have these options here. Um, but we can say, like, for example, a, a file name. So we can say web hook example text. And you can see it. Um, I could even go in here and get a list of my parent folders to put it in a certain folder and pick up a, a different parent drive, for example, where where you want it to go. Um, I might have client sensitive things on there, so I'm not gonna do that, but we can go ahead and just click test step here and it'll actually tell us that it was uh, executed successfully and there's the ID for the document it created on Google Drive. So I'm gonna wrap this up. I, want, I hope that um, this is at least um, helpful to some people and that you can see the benefits of a tool that's open source like N8N that's running on your own server. Again, this is like at n8n.oduclass.com in which I can really integrate with Odoo and, and create these amazing visual workflows that'll work with Odoo really well, but also work with pretty much like any other kind of system as an API at all. So thanks for watching. Um, I really hope that you guys have a chance to come to Odoo class and check out some of my other uh, classes and courses. And uh, again, this is in early access. The next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of things built uh, for a release in uh, January uh, 2025, where uh, this, this will all be a lot more uh, fleshed out and complete. So thanks for watching. And um, you know, please click like, please click subscribe. Everybody have a great holidays.